So once we've computed these bias values, we can use them to augment the simple average predictor to form what's called the baseline predictor. And with the baseline predictor, we take that simple average of the whole data set and we add in the bias of the user and the bias of the movie that he's rating. So for instance, if we take our harsh critic D and the rating of movie 3, we would have that D3 is equal to the simple average of 3.5 plus the bias of user D, which is actually negative 1.5, plus the bias of movie 3, which if you remember was 0.75. And so if we add those together, we get 2.75 as the new predicted rating for user D movie 3 over here, 2.75. Similarly, if we take user A in movie 2, which is a rating we don't already know, then we can say that A2 is equal to that simple average of 3.5 plus the bias of user A, which turns out to be 0.83. <laughs> and then the bias of movie 2, which actually turns out to be negative again. So, negative 1.17, in fact. And we get 3.16 for that. And if we continue those calculations for all of these user movie pairs, we will get all the elements in this data set. So now, let's compute the RMSE for our new baseline predictor. And we can compare that to what we had um, for the simple average predictor and see whether or not we've gotten an improvement. And we take the square root of the mean of the sum of the squares. It's a mouthful. But basically what we get for the training set is we, take, we get the square root of 4 as opposed to 2.8. 4 minus 2.8 squared plus 2 minus 1 squared and so on for the other elements. And remember there's five of them. And so then the other pairs are 5 minus 5, which is a perfect prediction, 3 minus 3.5, and 4 minus 3.85. And we end up getting 0.7365, which if you remember, the simple average predictor had an RMSE of 1.0247. So this is quite a significant improvement. In fact, it's an improvement of about 28%. So just by incorporating the simple biases and we've got an improvement of almost 30% on the test data. And on the training data, the RMSC is actually 0 .4709. And that's an improvement of actually about 60% over what we saw with the simple average predictor. And it's important to point out that, for instance, when we see these elements in here that are predicted to be 5, that we've capped them. The reason is that if we predict a rating that's greater than 5, so for instance when we incorporate user E, movie 3, we're going to predict something greater than 5. The fact is that a rating cannot possibly be greater than 5, so we were just losing potential RMSE improvement by having that value be greater than 5. The RMSE can only get better if we lower that rating down, so that's why we do that. And so anything that's greater than 5 we move down to 5, and anything that's less than 1, similarly we move up to 1.